WWSR22, those short I and long I sounds. Here we are comparing the short I sound I that you find in CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant words, against the three different ways to make the long I sound with a silent E, spelled with I-G-H, vowel, consonant, consonant, and at the end of a word when they're using a Y, but it really says I, notice how the vowel's at the end, that means it's an open syllable. Open syllables have long vowels. All right, this one's fairly simple to go and sort. The tricky part will be doing the blind sort. So shy sounds like I, but it's really Y. Right, I-G-H, try. Now this is an interesting word. This is a homograph, not a homophone that we know like so well, but a homograph. That means same spelling, but it makes two different sounds depending on what word, what sentence it's in. Is it live or is it live? So if you say live, it would go here silent e. But if you say live, where you hear a short i sound, live it would be an oddball. So I'm just gonna put in the oddball category so that we can remember that that is a homograph. Right? Here we have the homophone. They make the same sound, homo same, phone sound, but they're, sa they're spelled differently. Polite, sight, fine, quit, it, it, it has an I. Fight, fly, cry, bright, sky, night, twice, meaning two times, quite, see so you add the E and it goes from a silent I sound, or not a silent, but short I sound to a long I sound, quiet, it. Why? White. Hi. Might. And quick. Notice they, they usually almost all the time, 99% of the time, there's always a U after a Q. So if you hear qu, spell it with a U after it. Also notice how there's a CK. After short vowels and you hear the k sound, it's spelled with a CK. So here you are on your sort record. You can write the three different ways of making the long I sound of silent E, I-G-H, and Y equals I.